Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing the task called Water Bloom 1. So we need small pipes, metal beams, and a metal roll, which we are getting all of this up at the railway station uh, warehouse. And the funny thing was, is I was actually like... I was looking at all the different warehouses and where I could grab stuff, like... Oh, we got metal beams... One metal beam's here, we got zero rolls, we got zero rolls here, we got... You know, I was looking at all the stuff. And I went... I started planning out my route and I'm like, okay, I can grab one metal beams and one metal rolls from here. And then I can take a small pipes from this warehouse. And then I was, I was going to use this truck, and you see that red building over there? I was going to stop right there, actually, and grab the, the beams and the roll from there. And then as I got to the truck, I'm like, wait, this one's sitting at the warehouse. It can grab all of the stuff. And so I just, yeah. It might be a little bit farther drive, but I mean, all I would have done was just drive to there anyways. So, I mean, it, it, it only makes sense to just grab from the warehouse we were at. But yeah, we got uh, water boom one, two, three, and four all to do. Let's throw it into low quick for a second. It's a little bit of tire spin. Sorry if there's some uh, more background noise again. Recording a little bit earlier than normal. And there's some uh, stomping going on upstairs, or jumping, or running around, or something. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I can hear it. And I know the mic picks it up. So, uh, what do we got? Oh, that's the. Uh, can't think of what it's called, the uh, logging station there. The burnt log station, there we go. We're almost to the gateway, and then we're going to take a left and follow this all the way down. Oh, come on. There we go. But yeah, I think actually once we get this delivered, more than likely we'll end up using this truck a few times because I think this, the warehouse up there has a lot of the materials that we need for other ones. But it's kind of hard to plan out, like, okay, I need three for this and I need two for that and I need to go to this warehouse and this one and this one for that one. You know, like, it, it gets really confusing. And so I was like, you know what, let's just, let me just knock one of these out. And I know it's only one, but let me knock one of them out. That will, you know, move one of my trucks as well, because sometimes I'm just like, well, this truck is close, I could use this one for that, and like, once I just start driving, it's like, alright, well, this truck's the closest one, we're using this for this one. So, yep, uh, now that we're moving, we're going to finish this uh, water boom one. I don't know, I don't think we'll do water boom two or three or four right away, but maybe... Actually, no, because there's a, a task that I was going to do that I said last time that I was going to do that I thought I had more fuel, but I actually I had a different truck than what I thought. I thought it was the uh, Azov 5319, but it was actually the Step 39331 Pike. So instead of like 70 or 80 fuel, I had like 15 or 16. So. I, there's no way I would have made it with that truck. But I could make it with this truck, so... I'm trying to think, does that one have a... Tr I think it has a truck bed. I can't remember. But if it does have a saddle low, which I, actually it might, um, I could use that one. I think it does actually have a saddle low. Let's see. But I guess it doesn't really matter. We could just drop the trailer and drive off to the place that we need. Because all it is is one of those ones where you just got to drive to a place. So I could drive this all the way to the place and then come back. And, you know, use it again if I need to. So I guess we'll top up on fuel. Worst case scenario, I can just drop fuel into the other one that needs it. Oh, crap. There we go. We lost all of our momentum. But yeah, we'll get there, and then we'll, uh, 
Actually, I think we'll drive right past it, so I could probably drop some more fuel into it, and then I could make it, I could drive out to here and fully refuel, and then I wouldn't have to worry about it at all. It's a little bit out of the way, but, I mean, I'd rather have it fully fueled up and not have to worry about it than possibly running out. Uh. I know I keep saying this, but I still haven't found the task called Helping the Villagers 1. I'm not searching for it actively right now. Basically what I'm doing is just trying to complete a bunch of tasks. And maybe one of them is... It's like locked behind it for some reason. I don't know why it would be, but... That's kind of what I'm just going with. And once I get to the end, if it's still not, like, discovered or whatever, then I'll have to just run around with the prototype exploration unit and try and find it. Oh, this is some, some thick mud here. But yeah, the point we gotta go to is just up on top of that hill up there, actually. So I gotta start the contract. The truck is just around. You can't quite see it. It's just through the trees, just like through that orange tree, basically. And it might be further to the left a little bit, I guess, but it's towards the river that way. And this is some slow, slow stuff in here. But after this one, we only got three water booms left. I think we got like, I want to say like 12 or 13 things left to do. I think we have 11, uh, well, 12 tasks, including four that are uh, water booms. Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought this was the river. I was like, wait, where's my truck? But no, it's it's further up there. It's just over that hill to the left. Oh, here's a water boom. I didn't even think about that. I wonder what we need for that one. Because, yeah, I guess I could probably, for the most part, go right back up north to that warehouse and get what I need, but it's, I know it's not the same materials. I know we need some packaged sand and some small pipes and metal beams, metal rolls. I think some of them we need cabins, so we'll have to get metal beams and metal rolls and long planks and craft them. So I don't think I have any more cabins. Okay, we do have a saddle low. We could switch out. Let's just refuel it quick. Let's throw in... Let's just throw in our roof rack. What do we got? 140? Actually, let's refuel the rest of ourselves. There. So now we got 110. Pike's got some fuel. Ouch. It's funny because there's only one damage, though. Come on, let's go! There we go. Now we're moving. Yeah, I like it when the truck's in high and it's just, like, going smoothly. Like this. We're just sailing. All right, yeah, the water tower is just up around the corner up here a little ways. I might end up having to run out of fuel truck, I guess. We'll see. Because I don't think this one's going to make it back to that station, but maybe I could... Maybe I could get to the point in the next video with the, uh, with the pike. And then pull... Or, uh, then go to the... That station we were just at, the repair station service hub area, and uh, refuel up there, and then bring bring enough fuel for this truck to go back to there or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. I brought out a bunch of fuel trucks on the other map, but I didn't bring out any on this one. I don't think I did on PTS, but not not on the normal release of the game. Yeah, we should be fine, I guess, because the water tower's right there, you can see it. 
It's just that this swamp really slowed us down. I don't think we can go in high. We'll see. Nope. It's a little bit too hard to climb the hill. There we go. Yeah, we're moving. 75, we got half a tank still. Ah, yeah. Let's get this delivered and get this water boom up and going. This is water boom number one. This is probably the first one we should have done first, huh? Stop. Let's deliver medium. Why did I say medium? Small pipes, metal rolls. Oh, I said, oh, I didn't even, oh man. I didn't even deliver the medium pipes is what I was about to say. All right, we delivered the metal rolls, delivered the metal beams, and the small pipes. All right, 500 XP, 4,500 for money for that one. But if you guys haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys will like content that I've made in the past and also content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.